Morning. How's everybody? Good. 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 I thank, appreciate you taking time to, to join us. Um, as a, you know, if, if you spend any time around me at all, you know, um, Loberg's one of my favorite days of the year. It's sort of, it's sort of like my version of an adult Christmas. You know, where I get to go out and work in the shop. Um, I, I'm down in Red Cell this morning, uh, working down there. I think it's the third time I've worked in Red Cell, and I, I do try to move around a little bit. But I have such a good time, and I get spend so little time down in Real Cell for a lot of reasons. But it's a long ways away, and I'm getting old. But, um, but I have a good time. But it's it's like being waking up for Christmas to, to get to come in here and and work um, and get a chance to interact with folks. Um, so it is my favorite day of the at work day all year long. Um, it's also a, a favorite because I get to to recognize people who embody uh, Tom Loberg's. Um, perception or, or, or what he wanted Hytrol to be um, and what he embodied and, and instilled in Hytrol. Um, and I, so I, today, th today we get um, four finalists. Um, I will tell you that we had how many? 60 nominees? Something like that. They gave me the number. It was a lot of people that got nominated. It's very impressive when you read through that. You get a chance to, to see, see folks. And I was in a conversation this morning where you know, you put people in roles and their character gets accentuated. It, it could get accentuated for the positive or it could get accentuated for the negative. And the people we're here today are those to recognize are those people who have truly um, um, had positive accentuation of their characters um, in their roles and make a difference every day. Um, what we're going to do is, this is um, something, an evolution from last year. If you were here last year, we sort of stumbled through, I stumbled through. I, I, I'm, not always the best at following guidance. Um, so we're going to try this a little bit uh, more structured this year. We're going to go through and we're going to um, announce the four finalists. We'll give each one of you all a chance to, to get up and make some remarks, make some comments. And then when we finish that, we'll announce the winner. So um, bear with me um, as we go through. I actually have notes. Um, I wouldn't be the leader that I aspire to be if I need to look at these notes. Um, I hopefully I know these four people well enough that I don't have to re reference notes to, to talk about the, their character and, and who they are as people. Um, the, it's all based upon our core values of, of faith, family, um, gratitude, empathy, um, um, community, and commitment. So um, I've got a certain sequence and I just threw myself off in the middle of it. And you, if you don't do it in the exact same sequence, you've got to really struggle to. Uh, um, but those six um, core values are what we try to live up to every day. Um, and again, I'll tell you that, that these folks do that. The first person that we want to recognize as a finalist is a two-time finalist. He was a finalist last year. That's uh, Thomas Roth. Uh, he works out in the shop. Um, uh, Thomas is, has um, been ill recently, but I tell you that um, he still embodies, you know, in, in how he has handled his illness and the respect that he has of, of the peers, everybody. You won't find anybody that says anything other than Thomas always has a smile on his face. He's there to help everybody. He's got a great attitude. And um, if we could all wake up and emulate that every day, uh, think about how much better we would enjoy being at work, how much better we would enjoy what's going on in, in our lives. And so for that, um, Thomas um, got the single most number of nominees, uh, uh, recommend, uh, nominations for for the Loberg Award, and that's an impressive statement in and of itself. So, with that, Thomas, you got a few words? I've cut my speech down quite a bit. First of all, I want to apologize for the hat. I didn't want to come up here without one and scare everyone to death. I'm going to read what little bit of my speech I've got left. I'm not a Bill Clinton or Donald Trump. I can't wing it. Praise and recognition, the Loberg Award. It feels great to be here as a finalist for a second time. Apparently, my coworkers think I'm running my station well and doing a lot of things right. A finalist for the Loberg Award for a second time. Win or lose, I've won. The ultimate pat on the back for a second time for my coworkers. If the good Lord, if the good Lord is willing, I hope to come back to work in a few weeks. If for whatever reason I don't get to come back, I just want to say it's been a pleasure, an honor, and an experience working with everyone at Hytro. Thank all of you. Great. Hey, can I have, can I have, can I have, can I have.
said, I have this. I'll get, I want to make a copy. I want to read the rest of what you wrote. I've got some more I'll give you. I'll okay. give it to you. All right. Thank you. It's got two full pages, and he cut it way down, so. Oh. So, um, so I, I, I want, I'm sorry I'm being curious. I just want to hear, you know, hear everything that, that went through his mind when he was writing it, when he was writing the speech down, so. Second finalist, make sure I'm doing it in the right order, is Randy Manus. I will tell you that Randy Manus knows more about the workings of how you make something happen, how you move the levers at Hytrol to push product through than anybody I know, um, to the point that um, Bob's the person you need to talk to if you want a different office further away from my office. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, um, he's a person I go to. Um, you think about in, in past years, we get um, 2020 comes to mind, the number of phone calls that we were getting from customers and the, the work and effort that, that Randy Main has put in to, to address those concerns and not just to get them off the phone or to calm them down, but to actually resolve the problem. Um, he's the person I turn to whenever I have questions about what's going on in, inside the four walls. Um, uh, it's, it, it, I, um, I'm sure that when he gets emails from me, it's like, oh, please. But he never reacts that way, and he's very open to sharing what it, he, what it is he knows. A lot of people know things. They sometimes are a little hesitant about sharing what it is that they know. Um, that is absolutely not Randy. Randy, any comments? Uh, well, I didn't write a speech. Um, usually I follow Boyce when I am speaking, and, and he's a good speaker, so he'll be coming up shortly. But, Thomas, you did a great job. Congratulations to you and the fellow nominees. Um, I came to work here in 1985, and I thought I'd work here a few years and we'd build all the conveyors anybody would ever need. But, obviously, that's not the case when David mentions 2020. Um, but I think um, thank everybody for nominating me, and um, this is a second or third year for me. Uh, but it is an honor, and it's very humbling. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next nominee is Boyce Bonham. This is Boyce's third nominee, th uh, um, um, third three-time nominee. I noticed it's 2018, then it wasn't 2019. Then it was 2020, and it wasn't 2021, and now it's 2022. So um, um, the, I'm not saying you need to, to, to get nominated in 2023 to, to break the string, but you got a rhythm going here. So um, I will tell you, just like Randy's the person I turn to inside the four walls, Boyce is the person I turn to outside the four walls. If, if we have a customer that's got an issue um, that we can't get resolved in our, our normal processes, um, Universally, I turn to Boyce and say, Boyce, would you mind going to wherever it is and, and helping get this resolved? Um, he, he will jump on a plane. He will go take care of it. He will put his family and his kids in a car and drive to Florida over Christmas and put his kids to work in a facility. I'm not real sure that's OSHA approved. Uh, but um, that's, Boyce is the person that, that I turn to. I will tell you that not only do I turn to him, but our customers, our IPs, our suppliers, everybody turned to to voice because he's universally trusted. If he says something, you can take it to the bank. Um, and he's the guy that's, that, uh, even within our industry, um, Boyce is the person that, that SEMA turns to, MHI turns to, um, all those agencies, those people turn to to say, hey, what do you think, Boyce? And that's not because, that's not a matter of luck. It's the, the character that he brings to those conversations each and every day. So, Boyce, thank you. So I'm an engineer, and I don't necessarily like to be up in front of everybody. And uh, Thomas, I, I'm going to learn from you next time. Is that my phone ringing? <laughs> uh, what timing, huh? But, I, you know, I came to work in 85, in June of 85, and uh, really thought I'd come and spend a few months here, a couple of years here, because I thought, how interesting as an, uh, from an engineer standpoint can a conveyor be? But the timing was great because we were starting off with accumulation conveyor and sortation conveyor and got designed the uh, shoe sorter and just sort of found a place and I found out that conveyors are very interesting. 
and quite challenging sometimes, right, Todd? Both from manufacturing to trying to get them to do what the customer wants to in the field. But I, I think about Tom. This is uh, Loberg Day, and I was thinking about sitting there. What stories could I say about Tom? You know, Tom took a big risk in starting a company like High Troll. Uh, turned out to be not exactly what he intended in the beginning, but it turned out to be what God wanted it to be. I'm, I'm confident. But um, you know, Tom was. Uh, we hear a lot about Tom, but Tom was a driver, and I, I found that out one day. I was at the tech center. And uh, Tom enjoyed product development and everything. And he stopped by one day, and it was a convention year. It was about this time of year. We was trying to get all the products ready for convention, and we were busy. I mean, I was being held accountable for all these products to get ready for the convention. And Tom stops by one day and says, I've got this thing in my mind. He says, I've been thinking about it. And he said, I'm thinking about our ACC conveyor. you got a shaft at every 10-foot section and a shiv and shiv retainer and all that and I'm thinking that maybe we could develop something that would be lower cost uh, a cable conveyor where uh, the steel cable with a plastic jacket on it that could run through the whole conveyor and we not have to have these different shafts and pulleys and stuff and he said um, I'd, I'd kind of like for you to kind of do a cost analysis on it and see how ACC would compare to maybe building this cable conveyor he said, I know you've got a lot of things on your platter. Uh, you're, you're busy, convention's coming up. And he said, I'd like for you to check it out, but no, no rush, no rush on that. He said, and don't do it just because it's me asking you. He said, just do it, do it when you get time. And okay, well, that's what I, t he left. And so I, I thought, well, I've got a few things to wrap up and then I'll, I'll get to that. The next day he called, hey, did you get that done yet? <laughs> no, sir, but it will be tomorrow. <laughs> but, you know, he got something in his head, and he was going to drive it to get her done. But that's, that's what is, uh, we, we, uh, takes to be successful, though. And that's what we have to do is get something in our head, and we have to drive to get it completed. And uh, that's the kind of guy he was. And uh, we, we owe a lot to our founder, Tom Loberg, and I appreciate everything he did for the company. And our last finalist is David Joe Deaton. Uh, David's the long, 40 years you told me just a while ago? Yes, sir. So, um, I should know that, right? <laughs> um, David Joe, um, we've grown a lot. Uh, you think about um, over the last 10 years, we've probably, we've added over a thousand new employees. All right? We've added a second site. Um, we've really grown a lot. Um, society's changed a lot. Um, but. David Joe's role hasn't changed. His role is to be our conscience and, and make sure that we treat people right. He represents the, the, the folks out in the shop so that when we're having conversations, he's the person that we turn to and, say, and listen to what he has to say about how that impacts the people on the shop floor. And um, it, it would be very easy for us to focus on the dollars and a lot of the, the business aspects and, and forget um, what the most important aspect of the company is, and that's the people. And David Joe holds us accountable to that and makes sure that, that we're always thinking about our people. Um, for, and for that, uh, I'm very grateful and appreciative. So, David? Uh, I started with High Troll in November of 1980. Probably a few of you were not born in November of 1980. Uh, I'm looking around the room. But uh, very honored to be uh, sitting with these other three fine gentlemen who are very very viable candidates as well. Uh, they, they do a great job. They're very good people. I mean, that's what Tom Lover wanted. He wanted to hire good people. And for the most part, that's what we do. Uh, can't always do it, but when you got 1,300, we do our best to get good people. Tom Loberg treated people with respect. Uh, and I've tried to carry that over into what I do in my job every day. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a firm advocate of the golden rule. When I go home every day, I try to ask myself, when I get in the car and go home, did I treat people today like I would have wanted to be treated? Be that bringing them into the business or be that removing them from the business? Did I treat them like I want to be treated? And I try to answer, ask it every day and, and 
for the most part, I can say yes. I, I, I try my best to do that. So uh, I've done it for a long time. I'm going to try to do it for a few more years, and then we'll let somebody ask that, ask that question. <laughs> identifying or picking one person. I can tell you that there's a committee that does this, that we take all the nominations. Um, the committee involves past recipients of the award um, and key leaders in the, in the business who, in some cases, know, knew Tom. Um, there's, um, Philip participates as a family representative. Uh, obviously, it's, um, it's, it's named after the family, and so it makes perfect sense that somebody in the family participates in that selection process. It's never easy. This year is no, no exception. Uh, I can tell you that all four of these people are worthy of the award, um, and I wish that we could give um, four awards. Um, that's not the way the world works. That's not the way this award works. We narrowed it down to one person, um, and without any further ado, Randy Maness, congratulations. <laughs> no, you get, you're welcome to make any more comments if you want. Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take some pictures.